What's going on guys? This is Louie back here again showing you today's Firo, Firo, Firo. I don't care what it's called because it's going to make me money at the end of the day. Perfect guys. What a great day yesterday. I think that we had a 50 three or 50 something percent pump in one four hour candle. I'm looking at the daily here now because what I was saying is that uh, in my first FIRO video that if we're holding above this level here, I said we are going to go to $11. I said, it's actually in my thumbnail. I said, if we hold $5, we're going to $11. And what happened the next day, literally the next day, we had this sort of bull flag, this bullish continuation pattern here whatever you want to call it, you measure this pump, you move this to, to the breakout basically, like this, and it gives you a technical target. So your technical target is saying here at $10.77, so literally in line with our target of $11. That was giving this Fib level here, but we put um, we had this level of $11 just slightly higher. So what did I say was going to happen next? Let's look at the four hour. But just before we go into the four hour, guys, please smash the thumbs up button because this is how I get the video out to you guys. In the last few days, literally since my FIRO videos, I've got a lot more engagement. So again, guys, sorry about today. I might not be able to do uh, any uh, videos on the other altcoins that you want me to. I might have time much later on this afternoon. So bear with me, guys. I can't get out right now, but I might be able to post a video on the altcoins that you want later today. So please, down below in the comments, uh, say what altcoin you want to see next. I know that I'm going to look at potentially Harmony 1 and potentially Hollow. So any more give me suggestions. So perfect. What did I say was going to happen after this huge 50% candle on the four hour time frame? Well, actually I said that our technical target at $11 was met literally to the T, to the dollar. And what happened after that? I said that we could see a pullback because we're very overextended from the EMAs. And actually, if you look back at my previous video, actually go over saying that we're going to come back down to zip this zone because when you find a new swing high you come back and test your old one and find support and if you lose that then our next level of support is down here so what i want to see for firo is what's happening right now yesterday i said i want eight dollars twenty to hold however let's say that the bearish case happened the level that i want to hold is in and around this area because i'm getting support here and resistance here so an area of support is valid when it's it's even even more valid when you have touches on either side so very valid zone and now this is as well because at the moment resistance resistance has become support so this area should hold eight dollars twenty should hold if not though we can see firo firo whatever it is <laughs> come back down to around seven dollars or uh, maximum six dollars sixty five yeah that's that's going to be where i think that if you lose this support it will be there but honestly right now what i can see is that um i want to see a bit more I before i make a judgment i want to see the test of this 20 moving average we haven't got it yet so what i want to see is this hold if we lose this put some bids on here because this might actually hold us up even before going down here because we do have a few resistances in line with this um, orange line this 55 moving average can you see that resistance 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 so if we did come all the way down that could be an area of support at seven dollars seventy but at the moment i would like to see this hold if not we know our level levels now put these on on your charts the tickers firo usd and i'm using bit bitrex just literally as soon as you type in firo usd just press enter you know put you on this chart and just make sure you have the line same as me perfect guys so if when we hold eight dollars twenty what i want to see after that is for us to break eleven dollars and this will happen I'm, I'm i'm certain of this because actually when you get to a resistance point when you try and break a high you don't break it the first time you come away before going on and breaking it and you build that momentum when you come back and that's what we're seeing right now we've had this massive pump and if we know that if we buy big green candles you get big red candles so uh, an easy level to to find uh, the pullback to is using the fibs. You measure the pump. So we had this part, the start and the end. How do we know it's the end? Literally let it come down. And then we know that the most retraceable levels are the 618 and the 0.5. And where is our support anyway? Literally at those exact levels. We had this here drawn on before. We didn't even use the fibs in the video yesterday. And we still managed to pinpoint the level. Because usually when you get a pump, it most of the time comes down 50%. So that's why you can basically just judge it with your eyes. So this is the level that I want to see held. 
And again, if we lose the 618, I want to see it come to here and then get back above the 618. Because if you do lose the 618, there's a much larger chance of creating a reversal wave, basically. Because with your fibs, it's a retracement tool. You push, you retrace and continue. However, you can cause a reversal wave if you fall below this 618 and back test it as resistance. So what I do not want to see is this happen. This and then because you'd actually come quite a bit lower back to that five dollar level of support and we don't really want to see that because there's a much larger um, potential double top happening if you were to lose that support and that would basically put us in a bear so to hold us above a bear we want to stay above five dollars and to continue the ball we want to get above 11 and after we get above 11 our next technical target is at 94 but that also puts us in a technical target to at least the high and then if we break the high at least the minimal 560 dollar uh end of end of bull run target perfect guys i hope you enjoyed that video i'll see you in the next one and as always as always peace